Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Hey everybody, welcome into Bayou Time Sports. Harry McCullough here. It's our favorite time of the year. Yeah, it's football season, but it's also blood drive season. The LSU Ole Miss blood drive. I guess it's Ole Miss LSU blood drive challenge. <laughs> Ron Brooks would want me to put the Ole Miss first. But uh, Ron, of course, is on the foundation for Terrible in general and a board member. And Pamela Spearman. <laughs> Make sure I get that right. Of course, a phlebotomist over there at the Blood Center. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Uh, how many years have you been doing this, Ron? Uh, I believe this is the 16th year. And uh, we never dreamed that it would go on like this. But my plans are to keep it going. I think Pam updated we are 11,133 pints just on donations individuals. Yeah. So our goal this year is 900 pints. So we need people to really pay attention and come out and get behind this early because of all the, you know, the uh, COVID scares right, and right, right. all that. So that's a safe place over there. <laughs> yes. Did that really have an effect? You know, it was COVID for two years and then a, a, one of the worst storm we've had since I've been alive for well, sure. I, I would here say that, um, you Parish. know, for COVID, we had to wear, the people had to wear their masks to come in and, but people still would come and give, you know, just, and you have to be well to come into our department. So it's really not a very risk to yeah. place to be. And then when the hurricane came, yes, we didn't work for 30 days, but yeah. We were very well stocked before the hurricane and just took us about 30 more days before we could get it all going yeah. again. But people did respond. The hospital had some damage. Did did, yes. did did your area, the blood bank, have problems? A little a little bit. Yeah. A little you bit. guys are up and good to go now. Yeah. Took, Got a roof, right? You don't see the sky. <laughs> well, we, we had a new roof before, and it's yeah. probably what saved us. Right. We had a new roof before. Uh, no, this, this is one of the cool things. And, and this will be the first time you have a blood drive with the uh, – Baseball team national champs for our Ole Miss. Yes, right? I've got 22 years invested in uh, <clears throat> Ole Miss baseball, and uh, it was great. I had the awesome opportunity to go to Omaha, and uh, it was great. It's uh, it's if you're a baseball fan, there's no place like Omaha. Right. Oh yeah. And, no, well, and LSU it, fans know that. Yeah, well, they do, <laughs> and they and they were there. Right. Uh, and they love the LSU up there, so. and. Uh, you know, yeah, but Ole Miss, they do it right too, right? I mean, know, the whole we, the whole thing in Oxford's awesome. That outfield's unbelievable. We had about twenty thousand people. I knew uh, that. It was, we, you know, we've been waiting. We hungry. We hungry. <laughs> the first championship. You couldn't let Mississippi State, you know, just celebrate another a little longer, right? So uh, Mississippi's now back to back champs. Yeah. So. Uh, there's some good baseball play up oh, there, as absolutely. well as you know, and New Orleans. I think LSU will be right there in the pecking order. I, I watched their recruits, their transfers. Yeah, they're going to be there. But we've gotten some good transfers, too. So, right, right. Uh, it, SEC, four out of the eight teams yeah. were uh, oh, yeah. SEC. But, you know, baseball is important, you know, for the for them, for sure. So, yeah, I think they'll be all right. A team that was the last to get in the field. Now, they were number one earlier in the year. They fell off to the last to get in, and they almost run the table. Yeah. So, uh, pretty good. But we're not talking about baseball. We're talking about uh, blood drive. So, when did you start this and you just saw a need in the community and that's why you got started? Actually, I've been a chronic blood donor for many, many years. In fact, I was given blood uh, waiting on my wife while she was trying to birth one of our children. And <clears throat> she was having a little trouble. So I took a break and I said, well, I'll go give blood. So I went and gave blood and it's, oh, you need to come back. And so for years and years, I've given blood. And then then I thought, well, I, I just had this dream. It's, it's kind of been a ministry for me. Right. It, you know, it's reaching out and touching people. And I didn't realize till I, I learned how many people that it touches. Sure. And so it, it went on and we made a, uh, made a game out of it. I was very successful down here when uh, plugging Ole Miss versus LSU <laughs> when when Archie Manning was sure. uh, r ruling right. the roost, in so the, to speak. Early 70s. So I just turned and said, well, we're going to have fun with this. So, yeah, it's it's been fun, and we want to continue it. Right, I, I'm, for sure. I, I plan on staying with it, even though I, I won't be around as much. Right. Yeah, you might move up in Mississippi somewhere, huh? Around Oxford. I'm moving today. 
Uh, right. <laughs> well, that's awesome. We'll, we'll, yeah. keep, we'll keep up with you for sure. Yeah. And uh, you can be bike. You've been you've been doing both for a long time. Yeah. You know the way to go. Exactly. Uh, so, Pam, how important is it to have some guy like this? And, and, you know, I know he doesn't give blood anymore, but to have these guys that come well, it, every it may, every time they can. It makes it instrumental, you know, for somebody like this to make a big, right. you know, production of it and makes people want to come in for the challenge. And then we have a lot of people come in on a regular basis. That's what like I'm talking about, the regulars. Yeah. All regulars and people come in. And it's just that people want to give. It's just what they do, you know. And I, I challenge the young people of Terrebonne Parish that if you haven't give, what's stopping you? Because this is a gift you're given to share and pay it forward. And that... Sooner or later, you know, older people can't give because of medicine or something <clears throat> like that or your health. But I think, you know, the younger people, you know, we can't make blood. Right. It's the only thing how it saves your life. If you need blood, you need blood. And then it can help a bunch of people. And too. each time each a one, person right. receives one pint, that's one person had to give that blood. Right. So if you receive four pints for a surgery, four people saved your life. Yeah, it's, so if you're looking at the incredible. prospective things that what it took to save you if you were in a bad situation, mm -hmm. yeah, it's more than just one person. That's you why know, you it takes need several it. people. Yeah, and it, would you know a percentage of how much the regulars are and how much like you blood drives? You know, when you go, do you have a bus or no? You we go don't, on we scene? don't have a bus, but like yeah, you know, stay. we do some blood drives right. at some certain places. Right. Uh, we'll go to certain companies, you know. But most people, of them come from those regulars, huh? Right. Regular people just come and donate. And then when we're in the need of blood, we'll I'll call and we'll try to get people to come in. And we'll we'll try to, you know, certain types. If we need right. a certain type, we make sure we try to get that type. And people respond. It's just that that's just the relationship we have with most of our donors. Yeah, for sure. LSU, the Ole Miss LSU uh, Blood Drive Challenge, it is going to happen uh, on August 15th. And it'll run until Halloween night. So October 31st. Something happened on Halloween night back in 1959, I think it was. I, my memory is failing me. <laughs> Might have been 58, 59, my, my memory somewhere is in there. failing me as bad as those seven <laughs> arm tackles that were missed. But but yeah, can can we Jen, can you put that back up? Uh so th this is the challenge, of course, the Ole Miss LSU blood challenge. And again, it, it starts this month, uh, you know, in the, the beginning of this month, it'll run all the way till October 31st. You can go to uh, schedule your appointment at 873-4025. You can call them or you can call the blood center or you can go online at the blood center and then uh you know they'll take care. Pam will answer the phone and uh She'll, she'll direct yes, you. We'll Say, get on in here. That's right. We'll hook you up. So, um, Pam, let's talk about that. Uh, how, how hard, easy, if I walk in, you're going to say, hey, what's your blood type? Or are you going to test me first? I'm well, sure. Well, first, we'll, we'll get yeah. your name. If you've never given blood, we'd, we'd take your license. You have to have ID. Um, we ask you those questions, and we it's like a little mini checkup. We take your pulse, your blood pressure. We take your hematocrit to make sure you have enough blood to give blood. Right. And so um, then after we do that, then we bring you to the room. And I find our room is a very big room. It's very comfortable. And most Friendly. people tell me that yeah. when they come, they like it. We have the TV on. We try to talk to you. We try to sure. make you comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that most people we get to know, we know them. Like now they come in so often. Right. We know everything about them. So we try to make people feel very comfortable. We are appreciative that they do come. You get a T-shirt a lot of times or a bag. Yeah. There's always a little gift, you know, a little gift or something. And then this time we don't have the shirt here, but Coke. it's going to be a dry fit purple shirt. Um, oh, purple. So that's going to be the I gift. I signed off on it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a purple dry fit shirt. So that'll be the gift. It's a nice shirt. We saw it. Yeah. You know, the proof of it. And so I think it'll be it, nice. It's real easy. And, and you're right. That's a great way to give back. And we, we probably, you need to kind of start those regulars on a younger, or you, you, you were kind of mentioning younger people. There's a great yeah. way. Look, if we learned anything after the storm, people want to help out, right? There's people mm -hmm. coming. I'm sure y'all both had phone calls for people. What can we do? How can we help? And people always want to help. This is a great way to, if you want to help, this is a great way to do it. Yeah. It's a very easy <clears> community <throat> project to do. Uh, if you want to do some community Community service it's easy it takes about 45 minutes to actually do the interview and we draw your blood and we just recommend that you eat and drink before you come um, because it does burn 650 calories when you give blood mm -hmm. so you need to really eat and drink good before and so 
And we just don't recommend for you to work out after you uh, give right. blood. Yeah, yeah. That, that calorie thing's not a problem around here. We all, yeah. we all pretty good. We fill out it, but, well, <laughs> but we we're giving a football. Well, that's what I'm saying. So what, what what so if somebody comes in and they sign up, what what happens? Well, they get the name in the in the pot, so to speak, for this Archie Payton and Eli football. Uh, they get a I give a dollar per pint to the. Uh, to, to the foundation, foundation. then five hundred dollars to uh, LSU. Hold that ball. To, to LSU, five hundred LSU, right, right. and then five hundred dollars, or is it a thousand? It's two five hundred dollars. Yeah, two five hundred dollar certificates for a vacation if if they want to. Nice. So, uh, and then we give a special gift for first time donors. We've been averaging about seventy. New First, donors, all right per year. Yeah. Per year. This year it's going to be the Beats uh, headphones. That's what we're going to. Oh, nice. So you put your name in a drawing. So if you have a first-time donor, you get in both drawings. If you're a first-time drawer. Pam, how much does something like this help? You know, and, and I, like I say, I mean, it's all well, fun think, and games and all. People but people don't but, people right. don't realize that you know if you need blood. And you're in the hospital and there's no blood and, and you read all the time there's a national shortage on right. blood and stuff. But I have to say we've kept up. We've really worked hard, hard trying to call people and make them come in and try to ask them to please come. And people have, you know, to keep our hospital. When you need blood, we have to have it for you, right. you know, for you. To and have. you guys aren't taking it and selling it. It stays no, here. It, right? All yeah, our blood stays in our terrible right. parish. All the blood that's raised in this community by various and sundry entities doesn't stay here. Right, right. This blood stays here. Right. Stays it Other, If this blood, if they don't have the blood, they have to go and buy that blood. Sure. And that's only yeah. if you, if they let you, if they right. have it available for you. I, was, sure. I can't you remember. Know. It's about 200. We figured it out one time. It was over a million dollars worth of cost. It's something like 250 to $280 a pint. When it you have be, to buy it. It, when it you might even be it. more than that now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that could put a, a big dent. It, well, right? that's, that's right. And, and you know, so, you're not giving, you're not actually writing a check, but you're giving money to our But our, I think most hospital. physicians at our, at our hospital are uh, pleased that we have our own blood bank because if they need blood for a patient, oh, yeah. they just have to cross match and it's on premises. We're not waiting for it to come from somewhere. So. Right. It's on our hospital premises. Right. And so that's a that much, a, much saving makes a big deal. time. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Ron, uh, how many, what's our goal this year? Uh, 900, 900 pints. So with um, the economic situation and, uh, and, and COVID and, and all those things, we, we need people to uh, have it in the upper part of their right. calendar, so to speak, right. memory yeah. calendar, because... It's easy to get distracted with all the sure. things that we've got going on. Front of mind. No, we're right. For two years, we were afraid to leave the house, right? Yep. So you had an excuse. Ah, but we have three I'd blood, rather not leave three, the house. But... We have three blood drives during the uh, um, yeah. uh, challenge. We're going to do two at VE1 and one at Supreme Services. So that brings in a lot of people during. We go to their facility and do their blood drives. Right. You know, we, were, we were talking a little bit beforehand. So some of the times the, the, the corporates can can get together banks or a company can say hey come over and we want to be part of this challenge huh? yes some we have sometimes the banks um they make a list of all the people come in and give for their bank and then some banks give uh, a drawing to the employees that come and give and then at the end they have a little competition of like who gave the most blood out of all the banks all right they've had the biggest competition amongst each other uh, I would say in the last five years, yeah. or something like that. And and you don't actually have to work for the bank to give to right. the bank. Yeah, you can come help the bank. Well, you come help of, the yeah, bank. Well, some of them is their family members or Make their spouses. Make a deposit and yeah. a withdrawal. Yeah. You know, withdrawal and a deposit. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, look, uh, here's the dates. Uh, is take a look at the challenge, the uh, Ole Miss LSU challenge. And, uh, of course, Ron Brooks is the star of the show. He's on the top top billing there it's the blood drive it starts august 15th and a run through halloween night so uh billy cannon he's not going to be around to help out this year but uh <laughs> we, we we'll still show that video uh you can call and make your your appointment at 
4025 or you can go online or you can just probably walk in right pam if you yes, want you can walk in yeah anytime. so that, that's free. you'd go through the boulanger street side to get to your right in the bank, medical right? arts parking and you, we have five slots right in front of our building it's very convenient it's not where you have to walk very far it's very convenient to park. Do y'all still have the protocols? Because I know you had the cameras there and you'd pull up and then you guys would come mm -hmm. get people, right? In the beginning. Wait, it's unlocked. It's right. all unlocked. Now, right. The hospital's unlocked, so we're unlocked. But it's real easy, like you said, and it's specifically designated for parking. Right. And not and there's a bunch of parking there anyway. Right. But yeah. a bunch of parking. It's easy, yeah. And so I just find it's an easy thing to do. Uh, you just come in and we'll ask you the questions. You can sit there, then we give you something to drink and eat after you make sure you're okay and and most people once they do it a few times and they get to where it's not so bad yeah and, and you get a free lab right i mean you guys i know you can look at cholesterol you, you can, can look at i think y'all were doing COVID at one time well, right? we're not anymore but right, we right. do we do the uh, cholesterol if that's what you wish or another gift whatever you wish but it's a mini checkup you know right, we, right. we test you for many many um viruses and all types of um disease process so i would say come give if if nothing else. It doesn't question anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ron, the challenge this year. So, what do, what do you feel, Ole Miss and LSU? You know, it's kind of a down year the last couple of years, and I know a lot of people are a little bummed out that we had to change coaches and all. But what do you think of the rivalry? Oh, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be right there. I mean, you got a great coach coming in with the historical records coming from a quality programs. Uh, had a good uh, good activity through the transfer portal. So was Kiffin, but I'm telling you, the yeah, the NIL, King, right? yeah. the NIL, and the transfer portal are going to wreck football within two years. It's legalized cheating. Uh, I saw, I read today where uh, Gordon McKernan did a NIL for uh, <laughs> a bootay. Right. Sure. Where's it going to stop? Well, I mean, why why wouldn't a trial lawyer in Louisiana be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you see the billboards, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, no, I, I I agree with you. To, to be honest with you, and you know, the NCAA they making all that money from TV, and then they get other people to pay their their employees. Yeah. So I, I think that's where it's going to stop. You know, I think I think they're going to eventually hire the, the kids that are going to be employees. Is what's going to happen. And then that'll be interesting have a salary from a tax cap standpoint. Or, absolutely. You know. They don't talk about that. SMU oh, wow. SMU committed. $36,000 a year to each one of their athletes in football and basketball. So, yeah. That, that's what they, yeah. So, they, they have all these problems. So, that, it's, a, it's a new world, man. So, yeah. I, I don't – and, again, you know, it's like agents. I, I think a lot of the money is a little overblown when they're talking about seven figures for some of these guys because eventually you're going to go, well, what am I getting out of the deal? Why would I, why would I give that much I think money? it's going to bring disharmony on the team uh, between the – the superstar that's getting a meal, so Absolutely. to speak, in the locker room, and then the guy that's blocking for him is getting 50K. All right. Right. Yeah, you know, uh, that and, can't be good. And and then it, it, your trial lawyer that's paying for the, the wide receiver, what if he goes, I don't want to get hurt. I'm going to take my name out for the draft and just quit playing, and, which has been a problem too. So there's a lot, a lot going oh, on yeah, in college. Oh, yeah, it's ugly. It's in college ugly. sports in general, you know, yep. and then you got the transfer portal, which any the kids can leave at any time. So uh, let, let, let's end this on the on the blood drive. So again, nine hundred units. Nine hundred units is our goal. That's yeah, our goal. Is that a pint? Uh, is the unit a pint? Yeah, yeah. Okay. nine hundred. Yeah. And it's going to help so many people. And we talked about earlier one pint to one person, but. You guys, the way you can use it, it'll help three different people if right, you give a Right, because we separate your platelets, plasma, and your red blood cells. So three different people can get your different parts of your blood. Right. So and that's what we say. The The total amount that we've helped is 33,399. That's amazing. That's the amazing. total amount that we've helped with this blood drive. That's how many pints we have uh, and people we've yeah. helped. Ron, so, that's why your name's on the top, man. Yeah. Uh, think of how many people, and, and again, you know, to just think how many people you've helped with that, you know? And your and, hospital well, can't run without right. blood. You, ha you have to have it. It's just a commodity that we have to have, and sure. we can't make it, you know? Right. People have to donate it. So. Uh, it's good. Well, look, look, can we put that board up one more time, Jen? And uh, it is the Ole Miss LSU Blood Drive. It'll be... August 15th through October 31st. Again, Which call. Next Monday. Right, right. Monday, That's next yes. week. Yeah. So you can get in. And if you get in early, then you can do it twice. And uh, you can give twice. Yeah. 
So that that's a good way to do it. So uh, you can they can call or they can go online or again just walk in. Well, Pam, Ron, thank you guys so much. Thank you for having a great us. asset to our community, Ron. Thank we you. Appreciate thank it. you. All right, we'll be right back with more body time after this.